Hello to everyone and welcome on this YouTube channel, School for All. So if you are discovering this channel through this video, let me present myself very fast. I'm called Paula Heath, a computer science and ICT teacher. So on this channel, we are answering paper 3 questions, ordinary level and advanced level. So today we are going to answer task 2 of ICT June 2024. So task 2 here is the programming part. So we are going to start. So they say write a program using either C, either a C compiler or a Pascal compiler. So remember on this channel we are writing code in C language to implement the algorithm below. The algorithm receives two integers input from the user and compute the, the product. So here this is the description of, of the algorithm and this is the algorithm below. Now they are saying that a guide to complete the code is given below. Full stop. After a successful run, write down the code on, write down the code in the space provided in the guide. Cancel the part of the language not used and use the entire length of the line. Good. So since we are writing the code in C language, they are saying that we should cancel this part like that. Cancel means like you are supposed to cancel normally at this level. So let me use an eraser. Good, so you are supposed to cancel at this level so that your code, you can be writing it using this full space. So you'll be doing that on your question sheet. Good. So we are going to start writing this code. So let us move to our environment. So I'm moving here. So remember that we are using either Dev C++ or code block. So I think the last video I used Dev C++. So today I'm going to use code block. So I'll be migrating between these two software each time. At this level, the first thing is to create a file. So the shortcut is Control, Shift, and N, like that. Or you move to File, you click on New, Empty File. It's the same. It's the same thing. Good. So the first thing, as I'm always telling my students, is to save your file before starting the code. So anyway, when you reach the exam hall, they are going to ask you to create a folder on the desktop. Yes. And that folder will be having your name. So you just right click, you move to new folder, you enter all your full name here. So let us say my name is, let us say if. Good. So they are saying that the folder is already existing. So I'm going to take another name like Ola. Good. Enter. So this is the folder. Now, so I'm going to move back to the question paper to verify the name I'm supposed to give to the file. Good. So here they have not precise anything. Good. So you are, you are just going to call it task two. Task two. Good. So I'm moving here. Now to save control S. Easy as that. Now you move to desktop. You click on desktop here. After desktop, you just look at your folder. This is polar. Good. So down here you give the name task task two. You save it. Good. So the aim of saving it is so that when you are writing our code, we are having colors in fact. That is indicating us like if you are writing well or not. So this is just a small reason. Good. So now here yeah, we are going to start with the code. So I'm going to share the screen like this. Good. So this is just like for good so that you can view it easily. Here I'm going to increase the size also. Good. Now, so as I'm saying, ICT is very easy because they are already helping you at least with the header part of the, in fact, with the structure of a C code. So the first thing is to start by this structure. So after typing back the structure, the first thing is to start. So I've explained already the, the aim of this first line. The aim of this first line is just to include the file that is going to permit us to use input and output function. And the true input and the input function we'll be using here is scanf. The output function is print f. So without this include here, these two functions cannot cannot give. So we are going to start the code. So here they are asking us to calculate the product. So let me just be let me just shift this. Good. So they are asking us to calculate the product of uh true number so there's one thing you need to know here it's very easy so to calculate the product of true number 
you just need those numbers from the user we create two variable variable remember that variable are just like container where you're supposed to keep the number the user is going to enter good so we are going to follow the question so the first thing here they say display gif and integer so if you display something you use print f so print f give an integer so here i'm going to add slash n so slash n is for next line next line simply means that after this sentence give an integer i want the next thing to move to the next line when i execute the code there so i'm adding this slash n good now the next thing now is this is just a message that is going to appear now the next thing is we must use now the function scan f that is used to collect and to collect an input from a user now good so when you are collecting an input from a user you are supposed to store that input in a variable so i know that you cannot be storing uh, uh, a value in a variable if that variable is not existing good. so the first thing to do here is to declare that variable in fact now if you look at the question they are going to say that here they say uh, display give an integer and store it in the location num1 so that it means that for the first number we are using num1, which is an integer. So the data type is in. So in num num1. Good. So doing that, what are we doing? In fact, so let me explain it here. So doing that, what we are doing is we are just reserving. So this is our memory here. So we are reserving space called num num1. So that when the user enter a value, we are storing it in the memory. After for the second number, we are going to reserve another space called num, num2 is n, so it's n and not m, num, num2, so we are going to reserve it here. Good. So please note that it's not possible to use a variable without declaring that variable. Declaring simply means reserving space in the memory, and when the user enters, it moves directly to that location in the memory. Good. So here yeah, I'm going to make same like for num2 because here yeah, for the second number they said that the variable is num2. So this one was num1. So it's num2 is also an integer. So I'm going to say comma num num2 as easy as that. So that at this level the scan f this size works. So you put this percentage g percentage is because it's an integer. If yeah, sorry. It's an integer. Good. For float with a decimal number, there you'll be using percentage F. You see? For character, is percentage C. So here is integer. So I'm putting percentage G. After that, you put comma. Now you put this symbol here for the address, in fact. Good. So this is just like, uh, like the address of your house. So here I'm giving the address of this variable. Good. So why are you putting this symbol? It's like showing the address, meaning that this is the memory here you see now but our memory let me indicate that so this is our memory here this memory here is like a like a story building having different different doors so you are seeing that if you want to enter a particular door you need the address of the door so that you know exactly which door you are going to open so it's the same thing at this level after declaring those variables each time a user wants to enter a a value in the inside a variable we need to precise the address so that we know exactly where to enter so this is exactly what's happening here so that is the reason why as scan f we are adding that we are adding this this and so but for print f you will never add this when you are doing print f so know that very well so here each instruction is c programming add with a semicolon never 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 forget this so this for the first value now for the second value is the same thing just that the message here is give another integer so to avoid wasting time you copy mean you select like this you press ctrl c to copy after you move to the next line ctrl v to paste now you just change the message give another integer so this is to avoid wasting time and here the integer is num2 as easy as that so the next line is say compute prod equals to num1 times num2 so you are seeing that we are having another variable here called called prod what is the use of prod? Prod is used now to store the product of these two numbers. So I remember that each time you are using a variable, you must declare, meaning that you must reserve space in the memory. So here I'm going to say, to say prod. 
So you are seeing here prod is also an integer. So that is why I'm declaring it as an in because the product of two integers, the result must give us an, an integer. Good. So that at this level, I'm going to say prod equals to num1 times num num2. So you end with semicolon. Each instruction in C language end with semicolon. So the next thing now is to display the value prod. So I'm going to say print f. So I'm going to say prod equals to. Now prod equals to what? So I'm writing prod here because this is the message I want to see on the on the screen when I execute my code. Now when I will execute this code, I want to see this because remember that print f is taking what? A message that is going to this to display because this screen app is an output function. So this is the message that I want to see. I want to see something like prod equals to, that is why I'm writing prod equals to. But equals to what are we waiting here? The answer. Now, but that answer is stored in the memory in the variable prod. So how to access that information is very easy. So here you are going to say percentage g. Now at this level, you come here and you say comma, you give the name prod. So this is how to access something in the in the memory good i hope it's clear now here remember i'm not adding this i'm not adding this because i want to print something already in the memory so it's as if you are already inside a house and you want to go out so you are seeing that when if you want to go out you don't need the address again that is why you cannot add this because here we are printing probably is already in the memory because remember that at this level when we are calculating this is storing the answer directly directly yes so the memory is already having the the result so we are just printing it so hope it's very clear so yeah i move like that good so this is the code you copy you copy at this level at this space so now let us execute the code now at this level also let me say something another person can decide to say num1 comma he move to the next line in num2 so you can be doing it on different line good but if i'm doing it on the same line it's just because they are having the same data type in 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 that's why i'm doing it on the same line but if the data type are different different it's better to do it on separate line so controls there just to go back good so each time you finish now let me increase the you must save your work and to save your work is very easy you move to file now you click on on save save file or control control s good now sometimes you'll be asking how are we knowing this shortcut it's very easy if i move back to file you are seeing that yes save file this save file here and look beside you'll be seeing control control s good so to execute the code now we are going to move at this level this button here not this one and this one if i this one i don't want to explain it now but just know that you click here so let us click and good there's no mistake so they are asking us to enter two numbers so let us try so two maybe and um, four so normally prod should be eight very good so the code is given very very well nice nice so let us repeat then the question what do the next thing you will be evaluated based on the following three mark will be awarded for the variable declaration so three mark is only this by doing this is three mark only this line three marks after they say uh one mark for each of correct line implemented. Good. Mean that one mark, one mark, one. In fact, each line here is one, one mark. Good. So you are seeing it very, very easy to have all your mark. So the total is nine mark. So this all for this year. So thank you very much. Any question, ask in the comment part. If you are enjoying the video, please leave a comment saying that you are enjoying the video. So our next video is that's one on database. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, please. It's very important. And like the, the video. Ciao.